good afternoon welcome to today's video which is called obviously you know you've clicked on it how to successfully move to Thailand permanently emphasize permanently because yeah a lot come and go a lot come and try it and, and it doesn't work out so this is kind of just a take on my view my perspective how I've managed I've only been here three and a bit years so still not permanent anything can happen at any time this is not a I'm right or you're wrong kind of video this is sharing my my thoughts and it could hopefully help somebody and hey if you think you know something else if you want to recommend anything else that, that's what the comment section is for I'm not saying I'm right I'm just saying this is how I think it could really help if you want to do it how to make it successfully work kind of a fluke for me but yeah don't worry there's only I've wrote down seven things here <laughs> seven things here. <laughs> I've wrote down seven things here okay I'm gonna start with number one what I wrote down here and I've picked this one because I also want to give an update to the people that watch us regular and that is visa you must meet the require visa requirements here in Thailand and no matter uh, well all the visas that are available there's a few actually most are for one year and you have to renew that visa every year no matter you know if you're a marriage visa you go once a year and renew it the cost if you do it yourself is 1900 bar I'm not going to go into all the different visas so that's I'm just saying you must meet the visa requirements for Thailand there's many different types and I'm gonna do this video proper YouTube style the, the main thing you need is that the last point here don't worry there's only seven points but stick around and watch all the video and, and the main point is gonna come at the end and it makes sense you know, whatever visa you go for there's a way there's a way you can meet the requirements for one of the visas that's available here most of the visas, like I said, last for one year. Some, if you've got plenty, you can pay for the elite visa, long-term resident visa. The reason I do our visa, my visa, myself, I'm married, got a Thai wife, I do the marriage visa. The reason I do it painstakingly sometimes is to save money. It's 1,900 baht. For the people that watch our videos, you know, the last time it took us three visits to the immigration on the third time we managed to get all the paperwork submitted and accepted so now my one year marriage visa is in the process and I go back on the last day of my current visa just to get the stamp that's it you know I don't think there's any when it's in process I don't believe there's any chance they disqualify you know don't accept it I think it's accepted anyone any stories out there that you know, no otherwise, make a comment, but once they say accept your paperwork, I believe that is your visa is done. You're just waiting for the stamp on the last day of your current visa. Okay, moving nicely into number two. I've wrote down, have a very strong desire to leave your home country. Some call it a why, I wrote that down. <laughs> this is other videos I've watched. So yeah, you must really, I feel, want to leave your home country uh, I met like I say I've met many people I have a business here chat to many people I've met many people that have come and I think after a while maybe the the what they the vision they had had in their head didn't come to fruition and you know home is easy is easier so yeah maybe they didn't want to be they didn't want to leave strong enough I really wanted to leave the UK for a long time, thought about it for so long that yeah, I think you really need that desire to to go, you're, you're gone, you want to leave, so before making the decision I would say really think about it and really come here, stay for an extended period of time, like I did three months, my, my last visit before moving here was a three month trip, just to see alone and to try it out and go is this what I really want Could, can I do it you know if you if you get uncomfortable 
in three, four, five months, then the, the, the chances are you might jack it in and, and go home. So yeah, strong desire to leave. Okay, number three, this could be uh, debatable. I'm not saying you know, your thoughts are, are welcome. Cut all ties in your home country. I don't mean family and friends, I mean possessions, property, your home, your house, where you lived. Uh, if you keep stuff, you know, we, we collect stuff throughout life, we, we keep all this stuff. Even now we just moved home and we've only been living here three years and we seem to have a lot of stuff. And it's like, God, you know, you just keep all these possessions. And if you build a home in the, in the, in the UK, you, you have your house, your cars, your motorbike, your, your, all the belongings. It's like, how do I leave this? Pets and all this, you know. I'm not saying cut ties with your pet. Maybe you bring your pet with you. But yeah, you need to get rid of everything. Have a clear out. Sell your home. Now, this one, well, it's debatable because the next one, it, it, it comes... If you've got a home and you live there and then you're going to rent it out, the chances are you, you could quite easily go, when the going gets tough here, I'm going to go home. All you have to do is ring up and get the tenant out, right? And it's like you've always got a home there. Now, if you've got a property already, which a lot of people do live here, have properties somewhere else, but they rent them out, it's not their home. They, it's more of a business kind of setup. They rent it out to get an income. Now, this is... Yeah, this is good, I'd say. Probably one of the best ways to stay here. One of the most popular ways of staying here is people that own property elsewhere and rent it out. So, yeah. But as for having a home and collectibles and stuff, just belongings, I think, get rid of everything and come here and no ties in your home country so that you could just easily drift back when you get homesick. Number four... Have a source of monthly income from outside of Thailand. So this was, uh, this is needed a lot, you know. Unless you're retired or you've got wads in, in the bank, you're gonna need money, right, regular money. And even, like I said, we've got a business here. Even if you've got a business, at times, you need more money. And luckily, I started YouTube when I moved here and this has become a source of regular income when we need it you know the more videos like this I'm making we've got free time now because if you watch regularly you know our shop is being worked on so it's closed I can do I can make more videos I have a chance to get a little bit of extra income I'm not saying do YouTube you know something online a rental property you know there's so many ways to make money uh, freelance work online you know something where you do that you make money and you get a wage or a regular income but not a job not a job where you're working for somebody else online because I think that's people do it where they work for people online but also they can end they can fire you the job can end at any time and then what do you do the thing that we're doing that I'm doing online is this and yeah, YouTube could shut you down at any time, but still, it's kind of sick to the rules and you're okay. Pump videos out and you'll get more money. So you've got some way of making a bit of it money somewhere along the line, because trust me, there's times here where you're like, holy shit, I just need a little bit of money just to keep you going. So we, a little, a way of making money somewhere each month. Yeah, that's number four. And then number five, this is kind of, you know, how, how I've managed to do it. And yeah, number five, create a source of income from inside Thailand, is which we started a business here. You know, some people might be retiring here and don't need to, to have funds. I'm talking more about people like myself. I'm 46 years old. I don't, I don't qualify for a retirement visa which is 50 years old I have money to retire I have to earn money so if you can have a little side hustle online and then you can come here and have a little business something going even if you set up your missus in a business or you partner up with someone or even if you took a job here 
if you didn't need the, you know, if you didn't need to earn such a big amount of money, you can do a little thing here to earn some money along the way. When you, if you keep watching this video to the end, you'll see like the main, the main thing you need here. We all know what it is really. And it's what you need to live anywhere in the world. Uh, yeah, so create a, a way of making money here. And that, if you're similar to me, it's gonna be a business or a job working for somebody else. And then you're gonna have to get creative because most jobs are for Thai people only. <laughs> Number six, which I'm gonna do while drinking a local Thai beer. Singa is my beer of choice. So number six is have something to do. <laughs> so if we hopefully that wind's not ruining the video. If you think about the, the things that I just said, making a source of income here, making money elsewhere outside of Thailand, you've probably already got something to do, like me. I've already got something to do here. Right now I haven't got a lot to do because our shop is being renovated which makes more time for maybe drinking a singer on the balcony or partaking in other things here that are now legal. <laughs> so yeah, having something to do. I mean, if, you, if you're similar to me of my age, you haven't got loads of cash in the bank, you're probably gonna be busy making the money to stay. Uh, if you're retired and you, ha you don't need the money, you don't need to earn money, I would say get a hobby, definitely, 100%, have something to do because, hey look, you can be in paradise, but then even now me and Maybell are like, what should we do? The shop's being worked on, we used to go there every day, now we're just going to check up on the progress which will be in the next video. Uh, yeah, we haven't got a great deal to do, so you can have many, much time on your hands and you can easily fall into bad habits. But yeah, it's okay if you're if you're doing what you need to do. Going for your morning walks. Uh, you, there's always time for a little downtime singer at the end of the day. The weather's been pretty bad lately. Today it's been nice, so yeah, having something to do, and that something to do can earn you a little bit of money along the way. So it's always good. Okay, but before I uh, round up with number, where, where are we? <laughs> number seven, the most important thing, a uh, little quick update for our regular viewers. The shop is being renovated. It, it, we're aiming for the 7th of June to reopen, but that could be touch and go. I don't know if you've seen the last video, but there's a lot to do and a lot of walls have been knocked down. Not many have been rebuilt. <laughs> So we're putting our faith in, in the Thai building company. But yeah, quite a lot's happened. Need to see more happening in the next three days. We're halfway through. It's not going to be finished in seven days, but they mean we can start to work around each other and open the business. Uh, yeah, that's our thing. That's our thing to do here, our business. So let's round it up with number seven, which is, sorry if I made you wait, but just don't quit and all you really need, all you need to live in Thailand permanently, successfully, is money. <laughs> all you need to live anywhere in the world is money. Money buys you the freedom. Don't worry about uh, what visa will I qualify for? What will I do? Will I get bored? You know, will I be happy? If you want to leave and you want to live and you want to try it, all you need is money. That's it. The one thing is money. So you need to learn how can I make money online. Really online is the, is the way, right? Unless you've got a rental property. Unless you've got loads of wet wads in the bank. If your bank is full up, then you don't need anything. You can live anywhere you want in the world. All you need is money. And you just have to find a way of making it. We do YouTube, but other, if this ended, I would most likely go to an app called Fiverr or these other freelance online working apps and I would edit videos for other people and charge them money. I learned how to edit videos. 
even making thumbnails for other people. Uh, many other writing, but I think chat, chat GPT is going to take that option away from people now. Yeah, I would find a way. You have to find a way. I didn't know. I didn't know that YouTube was going to be the way of us making that little financial income monthly. It was just, I'll try it and let's see what happens. You have to find that a way of making money online or any, somehow, somehow you need the money. A regular little income a month and you can live wherever you like. Yeah, so that's it. Round it up, don't quit. Get out there, make the cash. Enough to just keep you here. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be loaded, but just enough. And if you don't know how much is enough, you can go back and watch some of our cost of living videos in Thailand. But just a different style of video today. Me chatting while well, we have a bit of downtime and it'll help us earn a little bit more money. <laughs> Hit the like, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Lots more coming. And thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you living in Thailand one day and come and have a coffee at our shop, Maybell's Coffee Garden, link in description. See you later, take care, goodbye.